Okay, so yes, we are, we are um, uh, going to talk about uh, GeomapFish, the status of the project, and also about vector tiles, but much less technical stuff. <laughs> okay, I will um, quickly uh, talk about um, the company and, uh, and what we do, and about a lot about GeomapFish, uh, vector tiles, it's the first implementation of vector tiles in GeomapFish, um, the, the, the big step of migrating GeomapFish to web components and about Kubernetes support and so pro project examples. So about Camp to Camp, so uh, we are open source service provider uh, since uh, 2001. Um, we are bigger and bigger, more than 150 employees now. Uh, I was the sixth employee in 2006 when I <laughs> join the company. Um, so yeah, we are also contributors, not only a, a service provider, uh, we use a lot of agile software development, and we have uh, experts in, in DevOps, etc. And yes, we are the largest European service provider for a geospatial open source. Uh, GeomaFish is a uh, flexible web GIS. Uh, you can see here uh, screenshots of the demo project. Um, it's highly customizable. It's more like a framework than a product. Uh, it's uh, highly interoper interoperable with um, uh, all the standards uh, using a QGIS server or map server or um, all the, the, the map provider. Um, we have a desktop um, interface with a lot of features, a bit too, too many features that for the, the mobile, that's why we have a mobile interface too, and a very rich uh, administration interface to be able to add layers, add themes, uh, um, also manage all the roles and users, etc. So GeomaFish is a community-driven project. We have a, quite a large community of uh, more than 20 members uh, and a project steering committee. Um, so I didn't tell that before, but you saw the map. We are in Switzerland, um, but also in France and in Germany. Uh, originally, GeomaFish was more a Swiss project, but now we have also um, customers in France and uh, in Austria, and maybe soon in Germany, not sure. <laughs> um, so our um, uh, community members are Swiss cantons, cities, um, but also in the private sector, and we are a member of this community as the editor of the solution. So the goals of the community is have uh, sustainable development, so promote dialogue between the members, um, have a decision making, uh, fair funding, and also the fact that we have several members so the contribution level can be lower. And this model works since 2011. So this is about GeomaFish, what it is, and now Let's see the, the new, uh, new features of GeomapFish. We just uh, released the 2.7 um, release. Um, so you know what is a vector ties, of course, um, but for our customers, it was important to have this support uh, added to GeomapFish uh, because they, we have more and more services uh, offering vector ties. Uh, the advantages, you know them, adapt to screen resolution, the, the custom styles uh, on, the, on the client side, uh, light files, and also much faster to generate a um, new, uh, new set of data. So the first implementation in GeomaFish, it was quite a small project actually. The budget was not very big, so we had to choose and not um, do a full support of uh, vector tiles in, in, the, in the solution. But that was important for us to have uh, uh, this implementation, this first implementation at all levels. So from the data in the database to the visualization uh, on, the, uh, on the front end. 
So screenshots. Uh, yes, uh, we have a, here a map with, uh, with vector ties. Actually, it is a partial implementation, so only uh, base maps are vector, can be vector tiles right now. Uh, we had to change the administration interface to be able to add this new type of layer. So this is what you see here, a screenshot of the administration interface. Maybe a bit more technical is uh, the architecture of uh, how we did that. So, as I said, we changed the administration interface to be able to um, configure the SQL query that will be uh, the, the, the way to uh, extract data from the, the PostGIS uh, the database. Um, and also, we have a link to the, to the style um, the vector ties service in the middle here um, for, for each request from the, um, from the client, uh, it will get the, the SQL uh, query, add what it needs to be, to be added to be able to get just one tile uh, in the data, uh, in the database, and also get the style, of course, and, and this will uh, give the, the, the vector tile that will be sent to the, uh, the client. And all this, of course, is done n times uh, when you have to uh, display n uh, vector tiles. Okay, as I said, it was in partial implementation. And so uh, what we did not do and that we would like to do if uh, we have a the, the, the funding for that, um, adding, of course, uh, the standard layers, not only the, the background layers, um, adding the possibility to, 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 to have the query on vector tile. Uh, it can be either from the vector tiles itself. Uh, when you click on it, you have the information that is into the vector tile uh, or um, using WFS as a fallback. Uh, we are also thinking about uh, PDF print because we have a, a quite a powerful print uh, module in, in GeomaFish. So it would be interesting to have the print also for um, vector tiles. Uh, it can be on the server side or, uh, as it is now with uh, MapFish print, uh, what we use for um, uh, non-vector tiles, and, uh, but it could be also done on the, on the, on the client. It's not fixed now. Uh, we have some improvement to do with the style management. Um, and on the client side uh, rendering, right now we use open layers, uh, but uh, we, we could use uh, something else, maybe to be able to have maybe more powerful rendering uh, on the client side. Okay, so the second big uh, news about um, uh, GeomaFish is the fact that we are migrating to uh, web components. Um, that was quite a challenge, actually, because uh, we are using right now AngularJS, and AngularJS is at the end of its life, and so we had to, to change it. So last year, we had a, a big uh, thinking with the, the, the whole community of GeomaFish, uh, how to get rid of AngularJS. And so we had a, a big analysis and um, uh, we decided to go to web components uh, using a lit element, so it's quite a light library. library. Um, and one important goal is, was, uh, was to have a smooth migration because for, for our customers, it's very important to be able to, to continue to use, to update, and to improve the framework um, and to, of course, continue to update and improve the, their, their projects using the framework. It was totally impossible to stop and to do the migration and then continue with the, the, the new version. So we did some uh, proof of concept um, that, was, that will be now followed by an iterative process to uh, have at the end an, 
non-AngularJS uh, client. And also one important uh, aspect also is that uh, all developments, including the proof of concept, uh, are reusable. It was important from the beginning of the proof of concept that all developments were uh, reusable. It's not a proof of concept and then to the trash. So this is our roadmap for um, migrating um, GeoMapFish. So the 2.7 uh, is out. Uh, it was out like a couple of weeks ago or maybe one month. Um, it's, it's stable. It's, uh, it's a long-term support, uh, long, long -term support um, version. Uh, it proved the concept. And also, it, inclu it includes all the, the bricks that are needed for uh, continuing this process of migration. Also, it, on our project uh, aspect, it is important also to have better estimates. And so we did some uh, migration of some components, and now we know more uh, how long it takes to, uh, to, to, to do every uh, component of the solution. Uh, next year, we will have the 2.8 with more web components migrated. And the goal is to have in 2024 uh, the, the, the version 3 of GeoMapFish uh, without AngularJS. Another evolution of the product is uh, the fact that uh, we are supporting more uh, Kubernetes uh, environments. Uh, so for, with the 2.6, it was possible to use OpenShift. Uh, the goal was to have a Swiss cloud provider because more, many of our customers want to be uh, hosted in Switzerland. Um, but we needed to uh, have a wider um, range of providers. And so with the 2.7, we did what uh, was needed to have a support of my, uh, Microsoft Azure. Um, why Microsoft Azure? It's also because uh, it is uh, uh, hosted in Switzerland. Um, AWS, uh, it's not guaranteed. OK, a uh, couple examples of uh, GeomaFish implementations. Uh, here we have the uh, Carto Lacote uh, project. It's um, a project of the municipi municipality of Nyon, uh, next to the uh, Lemon Lake, Lake of Geneva, um, and also other municipalities around. Uh, what is interesting here is that they have a, a lot, a lot of themes with a lot of uh, layers uh, inside each of team, of each of team. Um, and so, yeah, they did a very good job also with the thematization. It's a, it looks good. Uh, and uh, I ch for the screenshot, I opened also the, the fact that we have uh, 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 Street View, uh, uh, yeah, Street View module in the GeoMap, GeoMapFish. That is not new, but that was nice to have the castle of Nyon. <laughs> Another project is a project uh, for, um, at uh, EPFL. So it's the Polytechnical School in, in Lausanne. Uh, until very recently, we had our office next to this, uh, this school. So it's a historical uh, uh, customer. <laughs> um, now we are moving. Uh, and this project is interesting for uh, on different uh, aspects. First, uh, it's one of our projects that has the most customized um, interface. Uh, what you see on the left here is the, the, the interface of the public uh, application for visitors, for students of the school. And this is highly customized. This is not at all what uh, looks the, the, the standard GeomaFish. And so, yeah, this is very interesting. They have also a routing um, uh, module. Here we can see the, the line of the routing. Um, 
I don't have a screenshot here, but they have a second application for uh, uh, professionals. So it's not only, uh, oh yes, it does, it's the next slide. Okay, I will tell you about that, next slide. Um, here uh, on, on below is, uh, is the, 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 it's possible to include a map in their website. It was important for the school to have, a, for instance, here it's a restaurant and uh, this restaurant is located on this place and so um, they have on the web uh, page of the restaurant also the, an interactive map coming directly from GeoMapFish. And yes, the professional portal is here. So this is much more standard. This is the Geomafish standard. Uh, they changed only some, uh, some colors to be, uh, to be more uh, uh, EPFL-like colors. Um, and I told you about uh, the routing. So they have a very um, a powerful routing system. So they can say, okay, I want to, to go from uh, my office to this restaurant and there, there will be our uh, routing for pedestrians. And uh, the, the editing of the, the graph is directly done in GeoMapFish. So this is a specific module that we developed for, for them. And what you can see here is the, uh, the, the graph. And yeah, it's quite complex, but it, it works well. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And finally, here is a screenshot of the demo application of, uh, of GeoMapFish. Um, what you can see here is the, the, the LIDAR profile. Uh, it was implemented for um, first for the, the canton of Neuchâtel, and now it is uh, in, uh, in from, from the 2.7 version, it is in the, the heart of uh, GeoMapFish. And also it is one of the first components that we moved to web component te technology. Um, yeah. And I thank you for your attention. And you have all the links here uh, to the demo and to the, the, the second link is the, 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 the website of the community and then documentation, etc. Thank you. <laughs>